we are here attending the Mass ICNA convention in Chicago uh, and uh, we, are, we are participating here. We have a booth here and our mission is to explain to so many people, the Muslim people here and to the world at large, that not all Jews support the State of Israel. There's a great difference between Judaism and Zionism. Judaism is a religion, the Jewish people practicing this religion, religion only, versus Zionism, the State of Israel, which is a purely political movement. We are handing out this new pamphlet uh, which is talking about uh, the recent President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of the State of Israel. And we say that according to Jewish religion, this is unacceptable. It's not just the question of, Pal of Jerusalem, it's the question of entire Palestine. This entire occupation is unacceptable according to Judaism. And we have masses of Jewish people worldwide who totally oppose all what the State of Israel stands for. All the State of Israel stands for is in, co in total contradiction, in total violation of Jewish teachings. Killing and stealing, occupying in, uh, 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 another's land, oppressing an entire people, all of this is totally forbidden according to Judaism. This is a true violation of Jewish teachings. And in addition, this concept of building a sovereign homeland for Jews happens to be in total contrast to Jewish belief. According to Judaism, uh, we are in exile. Jewish people are forbidden to end exile by any physical means. All Jewish leaders from the very beginning of Zionism totally opposed this concept. This was invented not by religious scholars. The philosophy of Zionism, of building a sovereign homeland for Jews, was invented by Theodor Herzl and his friends, people who didn't follow anything within the Jewish religion.